Hi everyone. Hi, can you see me? Can you hear me? Welcome to Funny Pages. To Tom does hopelessly at puzzles is what I think the stream is going to be. Can is everything working okay? Can I make this bigger? Yes. I see myself. Hi James. Yes, Marty Marty's music medley. It's what we're going to have to what we're going to have to have until uh, Marty returns to his chair. No Marty cab at the moment. Hey, good good morning, Phoenix, Arizona. All of you there. Hello, people watching on Twitch as well. If you see me uh, just spouting out bizarre things, there's a good chance that uh, I'm talking to someone on YouTube as well. The chat is merged. I can see both chats. Yes. So first of all, before we get started, if you can see, I can see in the full camera. I think I've mentioned on um, social medias and stuff, but if you if you fancy some kind of merch after a long long while there is finally a shirt available you can see this better look at space marty is available on a shirt from sir meeple uh it's yeah i think i think mo most of the you know, funds and stuff you know, they've got to make the shirts and um tim designed the stuff around rach's marty design but yeah if you check out sir meeple as lot as as well as a load of other uh, board game related things for actual board games and for channels and stuff. Yeah, if you would like to, you can check out. If I can get it up, can I make a browser appear? Because I'm going to need one for this game as well. There is googling and stuff involved, unless you can remember uh, the periodic table and stuff. But there it is. There's uh, the Rockets Away Marty T-shirt. You can grab a, a T-shirt if you would like one. And I'm modelling the very first one i imagine unless you got in there first uh, so yeah it's just a thing that's available if you'd like one i really like it but then i really like the marty design maybe i need to change the camera so i can see uh see marty a bit better but hey this is also about uh funny pages a brand new puzzle game which you may have seen me cover things from the enigma emporium in the past i think the last one was a couple of years ago now uh, when well the last one that I covered I mean uh, the there were postcard puzzle games wish you were here and blowback were the two that I covered where loads and loads of puzzles were kind of hidden away on these postcards oh and carte rouge as well I did a prototype of which was a load of puzzles hidden away in a deck of mostly normal looking playing cards and a whole game and storyline evolved from that deck of cards and this one is themed around you know the funny page you know comic strips from newspapers uh, specifically you know big single panel comics and so everyone at a glance is you know a a, a a humorous little cartoon but in every one there is a puzzle hidden away now i don't want to spoil anything that's in the actual game and so this is a promo pack where you can see puzzles that aren't part of that in fact from the one i've just seen i've just opened it just getting ready for this uh, the the couple that i've seen are were given as examples in the rulebook for the main game so i might have a little bit of prior knowledge as to a couple of them hi debbie hi michael i'm glad it's all working okay there have been crackly mic issues but hopefully that's all uh, resolved itself so i'll show you because this this is on kickstarter right now by the way i think it's just launched if you want to go and check it out but there is there are reasons for this but the answers to these puzzles will basically be days of the week and in the actual game you will have um several qr codes or you can solve a little cipher to be given a hint as to what you need to do to arrive at this that'll give you three hints you know kind of Incre increasingly more obvious until the solution kind of tells you how to solve it it doesn't give you the actual answer you've still got to put in a bit of work to that and then yeah i don't want to spoil uh surprises and things from the main box because i've also got that we've been playing through that we did, did a big uh final push to try and solve it I haven't quite cracked it yet but yeah the, the full game has got like upwards of uh, get, getting on for about 30 of these puzzles so the promo pack has just got seven we'll see how well that we can do because i'm going to need your help for sure as well 
Uh, I definitely need Rachel's help. I definitely need Google's help. But especially if you saw the the Your Town video that I did uh, recently, which was you know had hidden numbers and things in a choose your own adventure kind of game. Yeah, I'm not great at them. Uh, hi Joel, how's it going? Oh yes, please. Uh, if you're on YouTube and stuff, like the video. Oh, Marty's disappeared from the. Well, I don't know where Marty is. Space Space Marty is hiding behind the bar. I don't know where um, Posh Marty's gone. But oh, he's he's on my shirt. That's why he's, he can't appear on the screen if he's on my shirt as well. Yes, if you're watching on uh, YouTube and stuff, like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more stuff, board games and that, and uh, comment if you're watching back later. Everything that I do is uh, funded by Patreon. I don't think my lovely Patreon bot no yellow exclamation mark when i uh, try and wake up my patreon robot uh, so he's not going to be taking part in today's proceedings but hopefully without uh, his uh, get-go uh, you can support the channel at patreon.com forward slash slicker drips if you'd like to help me keep making things and make more things wouldn't it be great if there was even more of this so i am going to grab we don't have to have it up the entire time but just check that uh, my browser screen worked oh yeah i got the shirt up it definitely works uh, so when we need to google things i can get that up there so this is an example that i think i remember some of the things to get going with this so the answer to all of these is going to be a day of the week but how you get there and where the actual puzzle is you're gonna have to look for it sometimes it will be in the actual picture. There'll be things hidden in that picture to help you along. Sometimes it will have to do with the caption. Sometimes it's going to be all of these things together. So I seem to remember, I think this one has got something to do with elements. If you can spot things related to elements on this. That if I get, I'm going to need a... So we've got arsenic was definitely one and then can i get a periodic table so like all of the other enigma emporium things it will involve a degree of you researching things you might know between you whether it's uh, things from a particular uh, artist or sculptor or whether it's knowledge of you know the periodic table and stuff although Maybe you've got really good knowledge and you remember the numbers of things. But if I can get my my browser up there. So, arsenic on a periodic table. I could do with an interactive one, couldn't I? Where I can, like, click on it. Or, or at least see, like, the full names of things. Oh, there we go. This is a perfect one. It should be the Royal Society of Chemistry. So arsenic is AS. So I think that might lead us to start thinking about a particular day. So can you see any other elements who've got hidden away? Oh, I think on the the scales here. There's a number. Can that relate to something? 238. Is that how I find 238? 238.03. 238.03. I'm sure I could find a perfect periodic table that tells me all of this stuff. Oh, is that uranium? Oh, here we go. This periodic table says more stuff on it. Oh, 200, yeah, 238.03 is uranium. So that's you. Oh, hi, Logan. I should say, by the way, I'm going on about the Enigma Emporium and all of this stuff. Logan is uh, the quiz master, the, the puzzle guru behind uh, all of these... Uh, I should get the names of everybody up of the artist as well that's done all of these beautiful things i'm sorry to reveal that i don't know i don't remember all of the things offhand 
Alexander Jovic. Dysprosium. There we go. That's another one as well. <laughs> yes. So we can get... If I can get my great periodic table back up. So Dysprosium is DY. Potassium. Oh, where was potassium? Is this just a pun, Logan? You've... Uh... <laughs> Where have I got this wrong? Uh, so, yes, dysprosium. And is telluric something? I don't know where to find these things in the periodic table now. Oh, is it tellurium? Or am I getting thrown off with that? Because then that's not going to be a day of the week, is it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, have I got... Uh, I've, I've missed a clue. I've missed potassium somewhere. So yeah, I think... Telluric is just of the earth. Okay. Yeah, you were helping me out with, uh, with the, the puzzles in your town, weren't you, James? You came up with a big solution to one. Yeah, there was like a big problem that we had to solve in that. I vaguely remember that. Before everyone died of dysentery. So yeah, we've got a few of these days. Is there any other elements that we're missing out on? Because I think yeah, you know, we've got we can get a good idea of which day that it's referring to now. But um, yeah, we only really need N, don't we? So pre I'm pretty sure that it's Sunday. But where? Where have I missed? You're onto it. Tellurium is your last bit for the answer. Oh, I didn't need to click that. If you would like to know who, who discovered Tellurium. So should that give me N? From some of this? Oh yes, your wife sold solved that puzzle, didn't she? <laughs> but she's having a nap, so we're on our own. We'll sort all this out. So I'm pretty sure. Unless I've got my anagrams really, really wrong, that it's Sunday. The audio started breaking up. Has it? Is it still funny? Let me see if... Has that changed anything? Am I still coming through? Tip top? Joel's getting choppy audio now. Oh dear. Hopefully the periodic table isn't breaking that. Hang on a second. Is that any better? Has that stopped the crackle? Am I coming through to you? Oh yeah, it can be another day, can't it? I'm thinking... Um, I'm not seeing the crossover between two days. If the audio is still choppy, bear with me. I will be back in a second. The video should come straight back on this stream, so I should reappear in about 30 seconds or something. If that, I might be back faster. But I'm just going to close this down and come back. See you in a sec. Hello? Am I back? And there's going to be a little bit of a delay here. Hopefully you're still with me. And that the audio is not quite so choppy. This is why I need help. This is why I need Rach doing the puzzles to realise that, yeah, the, the letters you've got so far can apply to multiple things. Should give it a second for all the things to come back. I think Twitch has reappeared now. Sounds fixed. Brilliant. Yep, the closing the programme and opening it up again somehow fixes the microphone. Because the I had this just before I started streaming. 
all of the other programs, mic works fine. You know, the stuff that like I record the pre-recorded videos with. Who knows? Anyway, so yes, we've got. So Tellurium gives me a T, right? I've got the browser still up there. It's Twitch. It may well be Twitch's fault. Could be. We need to investigate. So. If it's going to be, oh, it's TE as well. Oh. Oh yeah, TE of course. I'm restarting programs as I'm as I'm writing it down. So what else are we missing from this photo then? Oh, we aren't missing anything, are we? So, if you can arrange an anagram from this, which apparently I can't, so you can get maybe Tuesday. Tuesday. There we go. So, Obviously, you know, in the promo pack, this doesn't lead us to anything. We just, that is the answer. If you've gotten a day of the week from it, and it can just be that day of the week, that is the answer. Obviously, in the, the great big main game, that will lead you to things. And there will be, whilst being as vague as possible, there will be things to do with, uh, with that solution. So, next up, here's your problem. Can you see anything strange about this comic and where a puzzle might be hanging out? Again, I kind of... Obviously, I didn't remember all of it from that one, but yeah, it, it, it uses these as examples in the final game. So maybe I shouldn't have played any of it. I wanted to make sure I played the main game. So that I can be like, yeah, the puzzles are, <laughs> for my level anyway, difficult. Not ungettable, and there's a hint system in there. But yeah, my knowledge of uh, ciphers and stuff, and my mind working for anagrams is not great. Although I think I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm not too far away from the actual solution to the thing. So hopefully I'm zoomed in enough that all of this is nice and clear. But if you can notice the... There might be something funny about the drawings themselves. And you can spot that like certain things might actually start to form letters. You can find some of these things. It's like, that's an S, right? And that's a U. Oh, so Sunday. Of course it's got to be Sunday. No. Uh, what else was there? There's a the water... Underneath the leprechaun is making a D. It can only be Sunday. And what else is there? So that's making an A? The pliers there making an A? What are the letters am I missing? Oh, the the tree up there. It's making a Y, right? I'm not just seeing that because it's a day, so I'm searching for a Y. So it could still be a lot of things. Where else are we? Oh, in the water in the sink there is an A. So we've got Sudia. Where is there another one hidden? It's got to be something to do with the tools lying down here. I'm not going to just look in the manual. 
rely on your puzzly support. This is this is uh, <laughs> I remember to just speak because the a lot of the game is me staring at the picture, hoping that something comes to me, which it does eventually. But yeah, it's got to be jazzed up a little bit. The utensils on the wall make ah, of course, yeah. The utensils on the wall make another day as well. So. Knowing that. Would it be Saturday then? Is that the only one that's got two A's in it? I'm not going to just say that it's there. I'd like to find the other things that I'm missing. So would that be an R? If we pictured like, it's like a mirrored R. Because it's like a P and then it's got the screwdriver sticking out there. So that would be an R. Yeah, we need to find an R and a T, don't we? And would that pipe kind of be like a T? I don't know if I'm just stretching it now that I think that I know the answer. I think that's a decent shout. That looks like an R to me, like mirrored. I don't think the nuts part of it. I can't see another one. So I think that's, I think it's a good shout that that's Saturday. I want to go for that unless you've got any other bids on uh, here's your problem. This could be a T. I suppose the window thing. There's a lot of things you could kind of say would be a T once you once you're actually specifically looking for one. I can't see it on the people's things. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Shout out afterwards if uh, you if I'm wrong about that too. But I think that's pretty good. Okay, I think this one, from the look of it. It's going to be a Googler. Okay, people people skilled in their languages. T. <gasps> ah, I said it wasn't on the people. Michael. Eagle-eyed Michael there. There's the T. I was thinking, yeah, it's not going to be as tenuous as I'm thinking. It's going to be clearly a T. There we go. Brilliant. So I'm going to say Saturday for that one. I wonder if the it's just like one puzzle, one day will come up on each of these uh, puzzles. But let's uh, let's not use anything to try and sneak this. We want real answers, right? Uh, so this is going to need some translating, right? So can you see? Yeah, my my translation screen isn't in the way. So. For these words, are some of them going to mean anything? Well, of course they'll mean something, but are they going to mean a day? So, oh, gratan is just with something, isn't it? I can't remember what gratan is. <laughs> In English, it's still oh, gratan. Yeah, translates it to English, but... What does it mean to it? What What's the actual literal definition of it? Okay, you're not going to tell me that. Deep fried, I think we know what that means. Is this, deep, is this translating? Why is Google Translate still so bad? Well, I don't remember it being bad in the past. Oh, there we go. Okay, well. 
I don't think that's going to be the answer. Is it going to say, like, other days of the week and there's going to be one not mentioned? So let's just... So that is Monday. So that's the first success of Google Translate. Quintafira is Thursday in English. Okay. Oh, that's Scottish Gaelic for Friday. Lingo is weak. Okay, what else haven't I looked up? Oh, the the ones that the ones that didn't don't translate. If I put a capital on it, is that stopping it? Am I spelling it wrong? Oh, Saturday. Oh, I'm not putting... Um, there's supposed to be an... I'm not doing the accents, am I? So that might be throwing it off a little bit. Uh, so that is Saturday. Eshtun is Saturday in Albanian. So what else haven't I... What else haven't I looked up? Oh, Gratan I haven't looked up, but it's not showing me anything for that. Eshtun we've got. Zishti. Doesn't seem to be coming up with anything. What if I just Google? Here we go. Days of the week in many languages. There we go. Zishti is Tuesday. Alamod means Sunday. Oh, wow. I did not know that. And a la mode is Sunday. So that gives us... <laughs> See some YouTube videos about that? Better watch um, Well It For. Oh! Oh, so that's, that's like what Americans call desserts. Right? Is, so that's what it goes off. Okay. I don't really have that. Apart from, what was that game? Rocky Road Alamo. Mode. Well, let's uh, ignore all of that. Because that's Sunday then. So we are left with Wednesday. Which must be the answer to this puzzle. I'm writing down where you can't see. Uh, so yes, we've got a Tuesday, we've got a Saturday, we've got a Wednesday. Okay, so this one here. What do you reckon for this? I don't know, we've passed the Titanic three times already. I told you we shouldn't have taken that left at the Battle of Waterloo. At this rate, we'll never make it to the moon landing. So I, I do remember the answer to this one. This was in the, the instructions for the main game. This would require you to be a bit of a history buff, I think. So quite like the years of some of these things. But if we look them up, I'll see if in the meantime anyone knows the answer to this. So the Battle of Waterloo. There it is. And then um, the moon landing. 
What about the 1969 one? Yeah, the Final Eleven one. There we go. It's got the... So would it be the date that they launched? No, the date that they landed, surely. And then... The Titanic. So, this is... A bit of a dates of history thing. On what day of the week did the Titanic sink? It was a Sunday. On what day was the moon landing? Oh, no. Click the wrong one. Oh no, is that landing back here? That was when they landed back here. They landed on the moon on July 20th. There we go. Which was a Sunday. And the Battle of Waterloo was on a Sunday. So the answer is Alamode. Is Sunday. For all of these different things. Did you know one, Joel? Which one did you know? Again, there's a. I'll, sh I'll give you a bit more time because there's a, there's a delay as well. Don't want to just spoil all of the answers to these things. But remember that if you are intrigued and interested in looking up uh, the Kickstarter, which has launched now, uh, then none of these are part of the actual game of the Kickstarter. Uh, that's all different uh, puzzles in there. In fact, some of these are used in the introduction as examples of how to solve these puzzles. So you're not spoiling yourself for uh, seeing any of these. Did you know already, Joel? Or did you work out when I was uh, getting there? So this one, I remember it said that it was a bit of a stranger solution. But I don't particularly remember what the solution was. Let's look at the Titanic a little bit longer. Uh, we're going to be building uh, a great big uh, liner in a shipyard at some point soon. So the the answers to this oh, and now I wish I'd just brought the um, thing up here. Did you work it? Did you, did you know the? Oh, did did you look what the days were? Already, Joel. Did did you know that? Did you know one of them already? I dread to think how long I would have been sitting there. Well, I probably would have googled the things, but yeah, only the Battle of Waterloo straight away said on Wikipedia the the day of it. I'm sure I would have looked eventually, but yeah, I had the advantage of it uh, of it telling me. So where do we start with here? So we've got an apple, an iguana, a A yam. So the, is, is it like initials of things? And you knew the moonlight in the Titanic were Sundays. So, is it just the initials of things? Apples. Yams. Iguana. Rock. Or is there a link that I'm missing? What do you reckon? Is that up there? Is that a mosquito? A fly? 
palm tree? Cola can't be part of it, can it? This cola isn't in any of the days. Friday would make sense because of the board game as well, wouldn't it? Uh, talk us through, James. Have you seen any other any other letters from it? I think you're right, just because Well the the eye is what's leading me to it. Is that a, is that dispenser? Oh dragonfly. Yeah, it could be. It's gotta have day, hasn't it? So where would F and R be? Are they fronds on a palm tree? Am I making that up? Maybe that's one of them? But I am I'm doing that thing now where I'm looking for the letter now that I think it's that day. Oh yeah, fire is going to be much more obvious and probably the right thing. Or rotisserie. Right? It's 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 got the handle on it. Or rock. I'm going to say we've got that. We've got Friday. Yeah. It's it's more than likely rock. But yes, Friday, I think we've got for that. So now we come into ones, I think, where I know absolutely nothing. I, I think they appear in some pictures in the background in the rule book. OK, so we've got the battling bats of the Transylvanian High School of 1961. Don't let the... <laughs> Is there anyone just tuning in? This has got nothing to do with the Titanic. Don't let that distract you. Although it, it may very well be. So... Is it like the numbers? It could be the numbers of the people that are left. Six, nine, eleven. Vending machine, that's what it'd be. It definitely wouldn't be a dispenser. <laughs> what would you call it? It's a, it's, it's a Coke dispenser, isn't it? Get me a drink from one of those cola dispensaries. Yeah, but it's a little bit like Vendredi. Oh, upsetting all of the French teachers that I have to reach through the mists of times for the pronunciations of things that I'm sure were once second nature. These things slip away like, like fingerprints on an abandoned handrail. Could it be that? Could it be as simple as these letters? So it would be 6, 9, 11, 13. twenty five, twenty six. Well, 26 would be Z, wouldn't it? Unless I've counted wrong. 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 13... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. What do we get if we... Now, the game does come with a, a nice bookmark that I've left downstairs that um, lets you like, look up straight away some common ciphers and the numbers of the letters and stuff like that. C, F, I... So it's not going to be this, is it? Y, Z. Unless you do like the opposite 
to that. You know, you then put them through the... I can't remember the name of any uh, ciphers. I remember Pigpen now. No, because if you do that, you'd end up with AB, wouldn't you? Unless there's like a substitution. Has 1961 got something to do with it? What do you think? We're puzzling. If you just joined us, we are... There is a puzzle hidden in here that relates to a day of the week. And we're going to find out what day that is. By Uko by Kruk. I think it must have to do with those positions. How many players are there and which letters do they represent? So I think it's just going by the numbers. I've got these, but then I think we need to do something to that answer. Moon Monday. I don't think the clothes or anything are going to be a giveaway. It's it's the people that are there, isn't it? It's these numbers. Four, five, six. Unless you counted like down, I suppose, but wouldn't you just count across? Unless you counted from the front first. And then they would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No, there's no letter with uh, G, is there? I wonder if you have to do something to this. Like substitute the letters out. Is there something... What about the capitalization of these things? If there's a moon on Monday, it's moon day. It could, it could just be that. Like sometimes, definitely in the puzzles that we've done in the big main game, you're thinking like that it's going to be, because some of them are really hard uh, for, for me anyway. Some of them. Uh, you, you're really, really thinking over, you're really puzzling it out and thinking, you know, writing down all this stuff for it and you think oh there's this really obvious thing that i've missed and this is one of the 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 simpler ones <laughs> wrote 13 on it gives svx said hello is that slang for one of the days i think we're one step closer though thank you it could yeah it could just be that that it's moon. I haven't got answers to these, and there are no. As I mentioned in the in the actual book for the thing, there are no. There there are hints and solutions, but there are no kind of definitive. Yes, this is that one. It's. Uh, it will be apparent to you whether you've got it right or not, uh, eventually. To be still uh, somewhat cryptic about it. Yeah, the, it's only got six letters, whatever day it is. So it's got to be Monday and Sunday, right? And we're we're assuming, we're going off the assumption that we've had these days and they're not going to come up again. They might. But I'm going to say they probably won't. It's just, yeah, it's, I wonder if it's like... Some kind of substitution and then an anagram. But I bet I'm missing something really obvious about it as well. What about the... Maybe it's nothing. I'm just thinking about the capitalization of some of these letters as well. Is that going to end up meaning something?
because it's definitely not rotated in 13. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing going to be just like hidden in the picture or anything, I think. It's 1961 relevant. Googling when there was a full moon. Oh, Romanian days of the week. That's a nice angle. I like it. Days of the week in Romanian. Looney Marty, Mercury, Joy Veneri, Sambata, Duminica. So for six letters, it would be Veneri is the only one? Logan, please give us a hint. We're clueless. Is it, it's, should I be looking up 1961? Before I start Googling full moons in 1961, am I missing something simpler? Because I feel like I am. As I said, when, we, when we're doing like the real puzzles, I am the one that is like, got stacks and stacks of pages and scribblings for something. And then Rach just sees, well, isn't it just this? Yes, it is. To get to the point where you're like, oh, like if you count the number of uh, little dots in the notice board, then that adds up to this. And hi, Rach, I'm complimenting your puzzle skills. Loony like Luna Moon, yeah. The answer isn't far afield. In fact, it's at your very fingertips. Fingertips. I've solved the bit. What? Oh, updates from Rach. Rach has apparently solved. What, the, the big main bit of the full game we were stuck on? Big revelation. Rach in the chat, everyone. Rach has solved. <laughs> Something I was probably doing like an extra hour after she went to bed. I was trying to work out this thing. But Rach has apparently worked it out. I'm excited to find out what it is. Rach, what's the answer to this? We've found some other days of the week, but don't worry about that. We are looking at the Transylvanian High School. The answer isn't for a feel, it's at your fingertips. Now, oh, you don't know this one. Well, you can, you can join us. You know, not knowing. We will know. Fingertips. Can we see? So we can see some of their hands. Is that going to be it? We can only see a couple of them. I'm going to end up leaning right forward. Has that got something to do with the the... Do we do those numbers of this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? So it would be six, nine. Six, nine, eleven, thirteen, twenty, five, twenty-six, I think. So if we put that into here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. It's going to, look, I'm going to feel daft now if this isn't it. Uh, I've lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No. This isn't right, is it? Yeah, you could see the, the fact that there isn't 26 letters in that. When I got an A and a Y, I was really excited that I thought that I'd found it. Has Battling Bats got something to do with it? I 
Are those letters included in the counting? No, I don't think so. I just can't help feeling that the capital in it has got something to do with the solution. We could pop it aside and come back to it. If anyone's got any insights, look down. That's the point where Rach is going to solve it downstairs there. The... At their feet? No, it's not got anything to do with their feet. Oh no. I feel more and more like I'm missing out on something obvious. Their fingertips look down. No, it's not that. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, wait a minute, the keyboard. I think I was on the right track with numbers. Because I can't show you the keyboard. But, oh, I can. The wire isn't quite long enough. So let's see if this... I've got a Y. Let's see if this goes anywhere. Yeah, this is still plugged in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Y. So all that, forget all of that. Six, seven, eight, nine, O. Oh. Ten, eleven, A. Twelve, thirteen. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Which is, as you guessed with the lunar clues, would be right Monday. <gasps> got there. I think, I think I got there, right? <laughs> Oh, what a relief. There we go. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I would have gotten it <laughs> without Logan's hints. 1961 is the same upside down. That would have been a clue. So I think it is Monday. So I will if you if you remember well, you might uh, know that there is a day left. I can't remember which day that is. I'm not going to use that to deduce which day it is. We've got Reindeer Games, our final puzzle of the promo pack. So we've got... What have we got here? Is this going to be as simple as letters again? It's only because, like, kind of after, after doing so many of the puzzles from the main game, I'm kind of like... <laughs> The few times that it's come up, it's like, okay, well, well, 25, why? So, I can see 1, 25, 20, 8, 4, 18, 19. And so letters, I wish I'd brought the bookmark up, <laughs> I didn't uh, uh, have to count them out. So, 1A, of course, and 25 is Y. Uh, so, oh yeah, let's do the earlier ones first. Uh, H. R. S. T. Which I think, 21 on the banner. Ooh. Oh, yes, yes, we are. We're missing a letter, aren't we? Because this is all very well and good, but... You're right, Michael. Venison Bowl 21. We're missing a final letter, which would be 
you, I think, I, f I feel like I've already myself a little bit after all of the <laughs> Transylvanian uh, high school looking down. I think, well, thanks for joining us, James. I think I have cracked. So I believe throughout the promo pack, we have now. Uh, Sunday was the first one, right? Oh, we have done Sunday. I've ripped that page off. But yes, we have got a full complement of days of the week now, I think. And not only that, that is all the promo packing that I have got to show you. That is, though, seven whole puzzles from the game. I will get up now. Where's my mouse pointer? It's on the wrong monitor. I'll get you a link for the full Kickstarter, which again, it's got, it helps if you spell things correctly and stay on Kickstarter. Come on, help me out browser. This is because I don't use Firefox anymore. It's punishing me. Here it is. And will you let me type things in the chat? Technology, right? Come on, browser, come back to me. So here is Funny Pages, the full version, which includes completely separate puzzles to what I just showed you. It's on Kickstarter now from the Enigma Emporium. You can check out videos I have made in the past on uh, Blowback and Wish You Were Here, which are you know, similarly fiendish kind of puzzles, but all arranged over a, uh, a a few postcards. There are loads of puzzles arranged in this that tell, uh, tell a story. There is uh, a story in funny pages as well. Not going to desperately try not to spoil uh, this in the, the final thing. The Transylvanian solution, Joel, was... So I had, right, all of those... I had written down the numbers of the... of the positions of the players. I'd gotten that right. That was something. And then uh, Logan was giving us some clues about uh, the answers at your fingertips. Look down. It's positions on the keyboard. If you count from your keyboard, one, two, three, four, five, six. See how dusty this keyboard is now. One, two, three, four, five, six gives you Y. And eventually it gave us all of these letters, which became Monday. So that's uh, that was the solution to Transylvania. We finally got there. But yeah, that is just a quick look at some promo puzzles for Funny Pages. It's on Kickstarter right now. It's just launched. If you're interested in the final stuff and uh, a load of all new puzzles and all of the stuff from the Enigma Emporium, you can check out the link I've just uh, dropped in the chat. I've dropped it. Uh, and oh, I should put it on uh, Twitch as well. And yeah, you can see all of the final stuff there. I hopefully redeem myself with a couple of these puzzles after uh, standing clueless at a load more. I am excited now to go and see what Rach has come up with for the secret solution to the bit we're stuck on in the the, the full thing. Uh, but yeah, I will leave you to discover more if you would like to. I will be back tomorrow at the same time at 4 p.m. BST to play some brand new uh, upgraded Grand Austria Hotel with official solo rules now. I did a playthrough about five years ago uh, when it had some fan-made ones. But uh, yeah, we'll see what's changed and eventually we'll be seeing expansion and stuff from that. Hope you can join me there. Thank you for joining me for this though. And uh, saving me from uh, <laughs> my uh, bad puzzling. I will see you tomorrow if you can make it. Thank you very much for being here, though. And, uh, yeah, bye for now.